Good day guys, thanks for tuning in again. Today I'm really excited, I got the brand new Sofian IF22A thrower flashlight, so I can't wait to test this one. As we know it's standard packaging from Sofian, if you buy from their Amazon shop, I don't find any information about it, not even the name of it, except that it's operated by a 21700 so we are going to unpack everything we have the manual we have the light we have a battery spacer if we want to use the flashlight with an 18650 cell good quality USB-C charging cable here we have a lanyard and probably some spare o-rings Standard lanyard, nothing special, and we have two spare o rings, so that's always a good thing to have. Here we have the flashlight itself. I must say, it's probably the best looking Sofian I've seen until now, so I'm really a big fan of this design. It's really, really nice. They have a little information sheet, read the manual, take the battery protection out before the first use. So just unscrew the tail cap. As you can see, the threads are running really smooth. We have the battery protection. We remove it and have a quick look at the Sofian 21700 with 5000 milliamps. I'm using lots of different Sofian batteries and I really like them. I can't say that they are less good than any other high quality battery manufacturer. So really good job there, Sofian. As you can see, the machining on this light is outstanding. No sharp edges. The design is smooth. Everything's fine. The engravings are looking sharp. So nothing to complain about here. Really nice lens we have here. Reverse clip, which you can remove. I might probably remove it, then it's even more compact. And here we have the USB-C charging port, which is well hidden. Personally, I don't need the charging ports. I prefer to take the battery out and just charge it inside my external chargers, but a lot of you guys really enjoy this. So it's a good thing they used USB-C. Personally, I would have preferred that they give you one spare USB cover too, because in some lights I already lost them. Let's say, let's have a quick look at the manual and then we are going to work us through the user interface of the IF22A. So the manual comes as we know it in English and Chinese. I'd say let's first have a look at the specifications. So as emitter they use one luminous SFT40 LED. Uh, which comes in 6500 Kelvin, so they don't indicate that, but it's a nice cool white light for throwers. I really like cool white LEDs, for other lights I prefer neutral or warm white LEDs. Operating voltage 2.8 until 4.2 volts, USB-C port has 5 volts and takes up to 3 amps for charging. It also supports discharging so you can use the flashlight as a power bank if you have any device that you need to charge with it during an emergency. The manual is for the IF22 version. As for the IF22A which we are reviewing today, the standard IF22 will come with a deep reflector 
um, so it will have a complete different beam pattern but at the moment they don't know when it will be released so I will probably also do a comparison video between the two once the IF-22 is uh, released. So we are going to concentrate on the details of the 22A. So for the length we have 127.1 millimeters at the diameter 42 millimeters. So as they don't indicate the body diameter we will have a close quick look at it. So 28.5 millimeters body diameter then you guys also know this. Well, it's anodized to military grade, the standard blah 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 we always have in each uh, description. Here they say type of reflector, so aluminum alloy reflector for the EF22. EF22A has a 5 degree tier plastic lens, which I already showed you, which is really nicely looking. In front of the lens, they uh, have a mineral glass lens which they also here write down toughened mineral glass lens so that's good to protect the plastic tear optic so waterproof according to ipx8 standard not for diving they say mode memory memorizes the last brightness level used in the general modes expect to point moon as we know it from sophian reverse polarity protection low voltage warning so there's a low voltage warning probably in the side button here as we turn it on it shines in green to tell us that battery is still fully charged and then it has an advanced temperature regulation so as soon as the temperature rises beyond 55 degrees they are programmed to automatically step down to save the light or prevent the light from overheating. Saves the instructions are for noobs, so I don't need to read them. Here they show you how to install the battery inside the flashlight. We don't need to go through this. Then we have the power indicator. So in the side switch you can see as soon as you switch on the light, it will show you the status for 5 seconds. Solid green, remaining battery power is good. Solid red, remaining battery power is poor, less than 30%. Flashing red is critical power, replace or recharge the battery as soon as possible. Here we have the charging function, which I will show you later. So here are the brightness levels. We have a ramping mode from moon to turbo, so that's pretty awesome. You turn on the light, you keep the button pressed, it dims down to the moon with one lumen. So good job, they put in a real moon mode. Pressing and ramping up will get you to turbo mode. You can also directly access turbo by double click. So you have directly the full power a long click will activate the moon mode so the user interface is pretty easy to understand one of my favorite user interfaces so they show you here in the chart it goes from moon mode with one lumen to turbo with 2100 lumen there's also strobe mode with 2100 lumen maximum runtime will be 400 minutes and on turbo they indicate 1.8 hours i will do a runtime test in my ulbricht ball also to check if the indicated lumen are correct so here they indicate the beam distance of ef 22a with 697 meters on the ef 22 they indicate it with 683 meters so this one will be the longer throwing flashlight that's always nice to have we have a maximum peak beam intensity with 121,333 candela so that's pretty impressive it's impact resistant to drops from a height of one meter 
And that's pretty much it about the technical specifications. So let's have a closer look at the user interface, which is in my eyes pretty good. Long hold, activates the moon mode. Normal click, last use brightness mode, expect turbo and moon mode. And then you just hold the button down for ramping up. A small flash will indicate that we are at the highest level. And it does also the same if we dim down. You just don't see it in the moon mode. To switch between the two operating modes, you need to turn the light on and then four fast clicks. One, two, three, four. And now it ramps up with preset modes. So if you prefer this, you have the possibility to switch back. One, two, three, four. And we are ramping up again. From off, you can lock the light with a triple click. One, two, three. The light blinks and is locked. One, two, three. You can again unlock it. There's also the possibility of tail cap lockout. So quarter turn is enough to switch the light off. So that's always pretty handy. So for the people that need stroboscope mode, you need to turn the light on and then just a quick triple click, one, two, three, and then we are in the strobe mode. Single click returns to the normal modes. So I will show you the inner of the hat. As you can see, you have a slightly raised button here. It's important that you have batteries where the plus contact comes out a little bit, otherwise they will not work in the light. I tried with uh, protected batteries from Ace Beam. They don't fit because they are too long. You can also unscrew this I wouldn't recommend you to do this unless you know what you're doing. So you have a nice view on the tear lens. And here you have a nice view on the SFT40 LED. So I'm going to reassemble this and then we are going to charge the light. So I reassembled the light. Now we are going to charge up the light so that we can test it in the Ulbricht ball while fully charged and uh, later on outside in the dark. So you need to connect the USB-C, then it will start blinking red. As soon as the battery is fully charged, it will turn into solid green. What is pretty cool is that you can use all the modes while the light is charging. So that's a feature that not all lights support, but I really like that they did this here. So good job here. So we'll leave this one here. And I wanted to show you with which light we are going to compare the light later on. So this is the Ace Beam L35, one of the first lights that used this uh, tear lens method. This one has a XHP 70 and is indicated with 480 meters of throw. So this one will probably exceed this by far. I'm really excited to test those two against each other tonight because the Sofian is also quite smaller. So it makes you a perfect companion as an EDC because it still fits your pocket. This one is also a really nice light, but it's just a bit too big to use it on a daily basis. So the flashlight is fully charged. As you can see, the LED turns into solid green. Now we are going to see how it performs in my Ulbricht ball. So here we are at the Ulbricht ball. As you can see, I'm on the moon mode now, which is indicated with one lumen and I measure 
1.2 lumen so that is pretty accurate i will now switch over to the turbo mode which is indicated with 2100 lumen however i only measure 1600 lumen and i tried different battery types and with all the batteries i tried it uh, did perform less good than with the original sofian battery but as you can see it drops down quite fast as it gets hot really fast so uh, the performance will not last that long i suppose and switching it off now or to the low mode i will program it to the ramping mode now one two three four and then we can see through the predefined modes what it is going to deliver so on the lowest mode which is indicated with 30 lumen i measure 54 medium with 320 lumen i measure 200 high with 1000 lumen i measure 700 50 and turbo again here around 1600 lumen instead of 2100 lumen so sofin could try to improve their lumen indication because it would be nice to have that extra 500 lumen as always this is a non-professional ulbricht ball but it delivers quite accurate values there can always be a slight fluctuation but normally it uh, should not uh, indicate 600 lumens or 500 lumens less than announced so i will recharge the battery so it's fully charged and then we will let outside and i will do a comparison of the l35 from ace beam with the sf22 from sofin so guys we are outside with the SF22A. I choose a special location as it is a long throwing flashlight so I thought I'm going to get out of my garden and show you the performance of this light. So the little spot you see now is the one lumen moon mode and I'm going to ramp up to the highest mode. As you can see it's an outstanding beam we can see here at the end of the alley it's about 150 meters and it still enlightens everything really nice I will show you now the L35 which has a much wider beam much more output this is the 5000 lumen output but you never get the high amount of light at the end of the alley as we get it with the SF22A. So in my eyes Sofian delivered an outstanding thrower here with this compact size light and I really enjoy it. I will switch positions so that we can maybe try it on an even longer distance so that you can really see how much power it has. So I switched over to an open field with trees around. We'll activate the turbo. As you can see, it's an outstanding light beam. All those trees are more than 200 meters away. Here you can see some really nice beam throwing distance. And it's still a pretty usable beam. So this is definitely one of my all-time favorite lights from Sofian. It's really like a small handheld search light. I will show you once more the L35 from Ace Beam in the highest mode. As you can see, it also enlightens quite nicely. But you always need to keep in mind that the Ace Beam is more than double of the price as the Sofian so the Sofian with the 50 euros you have to pay at the moment 
on Amazon is really really nice. I will also post a discount code underneath my video and I really hope you liked the video as much as I did. If so, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and give me a follow and stay tuned for future reviews. Thank you. Bye bye.